All right, welcome back to RL Craft, guys. Um, last video we did basics. I'm going to be exploring a little bit more basics with you. So let's get started looking at how you actually survive in this game and build a base. So over here in this magic chest, we have all the magic items. Again, as I told you before, I play with other friends, and this is our collective base. So of course, we have a lot of magical items. But I want to talk about XP tones. So we have, an em we have a full one and an empty one. So how XP tones work, if I, right if I left click this, I gain all the XP levels stored in the tomb, stored in the book. If I, if I left click, if I crouch, if I crouch and right click, it puts the XP back into the book. Each book can store 30 levels of XP, and of course, if I wanted to put my XP levels, currently 13 into this book, I just shift and right click, and that puts all my XP levels in that book. Basically, we just store our XP tones in the magic items chest. Um, there's also hats in this game. That's what you get from completing quests. Again, I'll show you how to complete a quest. So you get rid of the crafting menu, and you open the, up this better quest thing. Open up quests, and then you basically just complete quests, like this one. You cre we, create we created cobblestone last episode, and since it's in my inventory, I can claim a hat and claim reward for completing this quest, and it gives me a dwarven beard as a hat, but I don't want to wear that because I already have my, vet, my favorite hat for my skin currently, which is the uh, cat ears. The next thing is you have skills. So skills, as you can see, I have pretty good farming and magic, but basically how you gain these skills is you need XP, and you just put XP levels into the skill. So I have 17 X or well, 16 XP levels put in the farming. And that's those skills allow you to just be better at farming, better at building, better at defense. And that allows you to upgrade your skill set and armor skill set. The best way I can describe this is if I go in here and I get armor, if I try to use an iron helmet. I can't use it because it requires defense 8. If you look at my defense stat, I only have 3 levels. So I can't use iron armor. I can only use leather armor because leather armor doesn't require any defense. So in order to upgrade my armor, I have to upgrade my defensive level. And that comes by getting XP. So at night, you really don't want to be outside, but I do. If you're outside, you can be picked up by terror birds, which is why I'm not going to be outside until it becomes daytime. Terror birds are basically just birds that pick you up and try and take you and just fly you up in the air before dropping you and hopefully killing you. Luckily, I have a lot of health because I've, I've eaten a lot of bug canisters. But basically, I just you just attack the bird until it dies. It has the same health pools as like a skeleton in Minecraft, so it's not that hard to kill, but still, it is very annoying because you can't really walk around at night. Oh, that's another thing I can show you. So wood works differently in this game. So in order to get, so if I put wood in my inventory, it doesn't craft any wood planks. That's because it needs to be collected. So if I get a piece of wood right here, all I have to do is right click it with my axe and it becomes wood planks. And if I want to get sticks, I right click wood planks to get sticks. So that's basically how collecting wood, sticks, and planks works in this game because you really don't, you really can't just put it in your inventory and magically get it. This game is based on actual real life, so it won't work like in Minecraft does, basically by magic. You actually have to mine wood to get planks and then mine planks to get. Another thing is, I want to show you how to get saplings to replant trees. You make a dirt bucket. Um, how you make a dirt bucket is, I think, you just get a piece of dirt in a bucket. A dirt bucket is just, yeah, just a piece of dirt and a bucket. And you put this in with catlins, and then you make saplings. Now, how do you get catlins? 
Catlins are forgotten from cutting down trees and letting them just fall. I really don't want to be outside, but I do want to show you how to get Catlins. So you cut down a tree, as I showed you before. And Catlins fall down from trees. They didn't fall down from that one, though. I guess maybe I have to do a wild tree? Maybe. A brown sheep. That's rare enough. Alright, so I think maybe if you do it from a wild tree. So if you're in the wild, same thing. Cut the bottom block. That is a shovel. Cut the bottom block. Same thing. And I think wild, wild trees are supposed to drop catlins, but they're not dropping them. That's weird. Okay, so you're supposed to get catlins from cutting down trees, but I guess maybe it doesn't work at night? I don't know. I want to try it during the day. I don't want to be outside during the night. Another thing, you're probably wondering what this structure is. A greenhouse makes it so you can put plants, so you don't need torches. Torches give plants warmth. If there wasn't any torches here, this water would turn to ice, because it's very... I thought I saw a mob, but... I thought I saw a mob over here. A lot of mobs are deadly, so I don't want to... I want to try and stay away from mobs. Because even with my health pool, it's still very dangerous to be outside at night. What else? What else? What else? Oh, we have a brewing stand. Uh, you need a lot of magic to use one. But I've been pumping my magic stat because... Um, heart canisters require 8 levels of magic. So I've been putting a lot of skill set into... A lot of XP into my magic stat. Uh, let's see what this does. I don't use um, Ender Tools. I don't need that either. Okay, so... But you need a lot of magic to use a brewing stand. But of course, I have a lot of magic, so I can use one just fine. Same with anvils. Anvils require a lot of building stats, which is why I began to put a lot of levels in the building. Basically how this game works, as you can probably tell, you just have to get a lot of XP. So now that I've gotten that figured out and given you all the basics, I'm just going to act out my basic RL craft. Instincts. And that is gain the XP by farming wheat. So we're going to go over to the wheat farm and we're going to farm some wheat for XP. As you can see, that's how you get XP in the game, It's just farming. By farming wheat, by farming like 10 pieces of wheat, I've gotten like 2 experience already. So, you do need a lot of wheat, but you also don't need that much, because... The only reason why we have so much is because we have multiple people living at the base, so... We kind of need a lot, because there's a lot of people here, but... You don't really need that much wheat, you just need a basic wheat farm. Alright, let's get back inside because I want to show you how to craft basic gear. So you just need, so, well, basically I'll just show you this. So iron can just be some, iron just comes in iron ore, not iron pieces. Because RL Craft is based on the original alpha version of Minecraft. This version of RL Craft is based on version 1.2. But there are versions of RL craft that are just based on 1.1 and even 1.0. So it's in an entire mod pack that's based on the basic Minecraft structure. So iron is still smelted the exact same way. Charcoal is just made by smelting wood. Glass is made by smelting sand. And soul sand. I don't even think you can soul sand. I'll see what happens. Nope. That'd be cool if that's a thing, but you can't. Okay, so for everyone who watched my Rotten Flesh video, you'll be happy to know that you can make leather by by um, cooking rotten flesh. So you can craft leather by using dried flesh. How do you get dried flesh? 
well, you, you, you get a bunch of rotten flesh and sugar. So let's make some leather. Alright, so you put sugar in the center cube, and then you just split up the rotten flesh, and you make dried flesh. And so, what do you do with this dried flesh? Well, you cook it. By cooking this dried flesh, I'm going to need one to stick to that. Luckily, I have a lot of sticks. And basically, boom! You cook dried flesh, and you make leather. And that just makes it so that rotten flesh isn't entirely useless. Compost bin uh, works the same as it does in normal Minecraft. You fill it up with beads, and it gives you bone meal. And bone meal works in the same way. You just right-click wheat, and it makes it grow faster. Alright, so that's going to be another video. Um, we just went through more basics of RL crafts. Um, in the future, I'm just going to be making videos on my own RL craft shenanigans, and we're going to try and grow this into a series. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the like, dislike the down, subscribe, go like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo, and have a blessed day.